what is filtering idox segment the question over here is what is or the question your interviewer will ask what are the ways to filter the idox segments okay what are the ways to filter the idox okay idox idox filter the idox so you'll have to tell okay you have to tell there are two way of there are two types of filtering you have to give the answer like this there are two types of idoc filtering okay what is one one is you know the segment based filtering okay one is the segment based filtering means suppose if you want to filter a particular segment right so let's suppose in the matmus you have a standard message type matmus right in this message type you can have multiple segment right in this message type you can have the multiple segment let's suppose the segment this is the segment a one and then you have the segment two then you have the segment three these are the different different segments you are having this for this particular message type right for this particular message type you are having different different segments let's suppose these are the default segment segment one segment two segment three these are the uh if you see in the real time for this matmus there will be a lot of segments so from where you will see go to we 30 right or yeah let's go there so here you can see that this is for your basic type so we 31 is for the segment right and we 30 for the uh, basic type right so here for matmus matmus 05 different different version of basic type you are having so suppose if you want to identify which particular version is uh, currently mapped with your particular message type so that you will find from where we 82 is the transaction we 81 for creating the message type we 82 for you know message mapping with the message uh, the basic type assignment to the message mapping right so here you have the message type just search for the matmus select over here and you can see that this matmus is associated with matmus 01 you can see the multiple you know uh, multiple you are having matmus 01 02 03 04 05 06 so this is based upon actually the release here you can see the different different release is there 38 30d 40 40c 470 752 so currently you know currently system will consider which particular assignment which particular basic type so you can see from here this is the current system you'll have to check the current system release go to the status and then click over here and you can see that SAP basis is 7.53, right? So now the, the nearest release is this one, 752. So the system should consider this one because this is the nearest one. Current one is the 753 or what you can do that you can create or, or what you can do that you can change from 752 to 753. The system will not be having any confusion and it will, you know, select this matmus 06 as a basic type. This basic type contains the segment, right? So suppose if you want to know what are the segments for this particular message type are there, you will have to find the basic type first and then go to the transaction slash and we 30 and give the basic type name and click on this display button so these are the segments under this segment you have this segment also under this segment you have this segment so these are the default segment for that particular matmus message type right and from where it is coming from matmus 06 it is coming right so go through the previous 
interview questions and answer session or go through my early IDOC uh, tutorial on the YouTube or get it from the Udemy will find from Udemy the full lecture and there your concept will be clear. You know, if you have any doubt related with. Uh, so for the basics, what you can do, you can directly go to the YouTube also. From there, you will understand a little more detail if you want. Then maybe you can go through the uh, Udemy one. Okay. So the point over here is you can see that there are several segments. But now what you realized that only some of the segment you want to pass from one system to another system all right so you want to stop some of the segment so for example you wanted to stop so even mara one and this is this is like the important segment you would not like to stop this one this one okay because this is the you know the here you can see that this is the important one e1 mara mara m so material master general data so this one actually this one you would not like to stop one because this will contain the basic data information and all right but suppose if you want to stop this one right this units of major or maybe the material valuation or sales data view or tax classification view if you want to stop some of the segment what you can do that go to bd56 okay click on this okay button and here what you will have to do that in bd56 whichever segment you don't want to pass from current system to receiver system from the sender system to receiver system you know click on this new message and give here the tie the center right so here you can see that this will be the ls right ls so means you'll have to uh, this is the uh, system type the logical system this is the sender right this is again you are having the type receiver roles and give the segment which you don't want to pass okay here you'll have to give the segment which don't want to pass so for example let me copy this one i don't want to pass this particular segment for that particular message type so give this over here okay this receiver system and all you will have to give means you will have to give the receiver system information you'll have to give the sender system information so this is my sender system right this is my uh, the type over here for the receiver system also will have to tell correct so this is what you will have to choose and you will have to tell the segment type which you don't want to pass right so give the segment type so the important point over here from the interview answer point of view is the transaction bd56 so suppose if you want to filter the data, filter the segment, means if you don't want to pass the segment from one system to another system, right? Which is the transaction you are going to use? So transaction is BD56, okay? Here you just give the segment name, click on the save button, and you know, that segment will not start go then onwards, you know, only the remaining segment will be going so that segment will be filtered okay through the bd56 so this is called the segment filtering this is called the segment filter there is one more type of filtering okay there are two types of filtering this is one which we understood here this is the important transaction bd56 you are supposed to remember segment based filtering sorry this is not the segment the another filtering is known as idoc filtering or based on idoc filtering idoc filter on this another filtering is known as the idoc filtering or filtering based on the field value filtering based on the field value so there are two types of filtering, right? You understood there are two types of filtering. One is the segment based filtering VD56. 
and another is and another is the idoc filtering why we are telling the idoc filtering the reason behind suppose you have the two system sap1 and sap2 system right this sap1 system has created you know some idocs over here in the in the sender system right but those idocs is not matching the criteria for example in sap1 system let's take the example of material master so the idoc for the material has created let's suppose the five idoc has created over here in the sap1 system okay two idoc two idoc belongs to uh, raw material okay and the three idocs belong to you know finished good like the finished type material now you want only those idoc should pass to sap2 system which material type is finished good you don't want to get past the idoc which material type is roh right of course here the message type is matmus right A standard message type we are using over here matmus so what you will have to do that you will have to put the filter on the material type if material type is feit then only pass to the sap2 right and if the material type is not feit then just get it filter okay so maybe the filtering i can represent with this though it is not the right symbol for filtering but i'm not able to find the correct one over here so just i'm representing this one with the filter okay so the m dot equal to you know FERT here you will have to do this filtering so if this is going to be true then only pass the idoc from this sap1 system to this sap2 system where this filtering is done such kind of filtering where it is done any one of you over here having any idea yes vishal very good so vishal has given the correct answer okay so thank you vishal here this particular kind of filtering is done at bd64 level okay such kind of filtering is done at bd64 level so the t code for that is bd64 how to do that you know how to do that it's very simple just refer some blog or maybe i will show you over here go to this bd64 slash and bd64 and this bd64 is actually very useful okay so in fact okay so in fact first you will have to create the model in that you will have to use that particular message type so let me check if some of the model some model is already created you can see here go to the message type this is the cremas message type okay so i'm just looking for matmus if someone has used model view doc mass okay so what it will be look like you know uh, here it will be matmus okay if the fill the model has been created for the matmus then here it will be like matmus what you will have to do go into the change mode okay and then click on that particular message type double click over here you know it will get the filter model display no this is not the one actually right click over here maybe you will get some option or double click generally what we do we'll double click yeah so it is coming double click over there and data filtering option you can see that so here actually you will have to add so 
just wait for a while system is not responding just a second so this is this is how actually we'll have to do here you will get the option to filter the data you know when you will uh, when you will press over here when you will do f4 over here it will give all list of the field on which you can put the filter okay so it got hanged let's wait for some time again we'll come after some time and we will see so these are the two types of filtering you are having 